Hey, my name is Dan. This particular video is a free video from my full course on HTML5 banner advertising using Adobe Animate. There are also free files and I've got some finished files that I save after each YouTube video that you can download from my website. Uh, I'll throw a link down in the description. All right, let's get on to some banner making. All right, in this video, we're gonna look at using branded colors and also the Adobe color libraries. So we're gonna open up an exercise file. So go to file, open, and open up the color.fla. Great, and we're gonna go recolor this um, alien -y octopus thing. Okay, and to do it, we could obviously select it and go through and pick different colors from here. And there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but if you want branded colors, you've got to use this little rainbow colored wheel up here. And this guy here, you can type in your RGB colors or this hexadecimal number here. So you just kind of like type over the top of them to get your colors. Now, let's say though that we're experimenting with colors and we're not forced into branded colors and we get to kind of experiment with some other things. Adobe Color is a really cool little website. So what happens is um, I go to my, I need to open up my window. I'm gonna open up my, um, this thing here called CC Libraries. This is built into all the new Adobe products and it links to my um, my library. Mine's quite full, yours might be empty if you're new to it. And what you need to do is you need to switch out to, uh, I'm gonna go to Chrome, I'm gonna switch out to color.adobe.com. Okay, and you'll see in here that color.adobe.com, uh, I've logged into this website. If you haven't logged into, um, the website using your Adobe ID, the same one you've used in Adobe Animate. So there's me, okay, and uh, that's my email address, and I can check in Adobe Animate under help that there's that same email address again, okay? So that's how I know I'm kind of logged into the same account. Um, and in here, this create is quite interesting. Um, you might have, uh, say, a color here. You might type it in, say this is your, you play around with your H uh, CMYK colors or switch it down here, there's RGB. And this is, say this is the corporate color you have to stick to. It's some kind of ready kind of brown color. And what you can do up here is you can go in here and say I want uh, complementary colors to this or uh, colors from the triad, monochromatic colors from there. And it just helps you kind of pick five color swatches that you might start using in your um, graphics. So yeah, it helps me when I'm kind of, I get stuck using the same old colors every time I do something, everything's green and gray. Uh, so this helps me kind of bust out of that, trying to find some other colors that I might use as a nice little group. Um, all right, so that's one thing, um, create. I love this explore thing. So the explore thing is the nice bit. These are the most used colors of all time uh, that are, um, what it means is that people have downloaded them and used them in their projects the most. So you'll find that this uh, some really nice stuff at the top here. You can also do some searches. Uh, I'm gonna type in the 80s and you'll see that hopefully we get some 80s colors. Okay, so there's some really good 80s colors in here. So if I pick 80s, what is this one? I think it's one fanny pack. I think I've used this before. Um, gulp. So I'm gonna hit save. And what happens is 80s, okay, it's just called uh, flashback 80s. That's great. I can save it to, can you see all the different libraries in here? I've got lots in here. You might just have probably one my library, which you should. Um, you can give it a different name. You might call it the bring your laptop 80s. Okay and you save it. And what happens is in Adobe Animate, you'll see here in a second, if you're in the right library, there it is there. Bring a laptop 80s appears. And what it means is you can select on these guys and I can say, I want you to be that color. I want his eyes to be this color. Okay, and I'm gonna pick these circles underneath. Pick another color. Oh, I didn't pick those at all. Okay, and you can kind of start 85ing your um, your logo, your you know your uh, design. You can see what I did there. I tried to move my library, and it got snapped next to this. That's totally fine. But I'm going to unsnap it. Okay, it just means that this guy was kind of in the way, so I was trying to move it around. What you might do. Oh, now I've just joined it to the top. Stop moving it around, Dan. Okay, so I'm going to move it kind of safely here in the middle. And um, what I'm looking for is the bottom of this thing here. So I don't want it to join there. I want you. Okay, so I wanna make it a little bit smaller and I can't quite reach the bottom, mainly because of my dock. There he is there. Wow, plava. 
Okay, so say you are using this thing quite a bit, your libraries, which you might do, you can click, hold and drag it and just dump it into underneath this guy here. It means it just kind of pops in and out. It's a nicer way of using it. All right, so this guy here, remember this guy? This guy's ungroups, so he was really easy to color. Now what we can do is I want to go in, I'm gonna pop this out and I want to change my background stage color. So I'm gonna pick, it's a little hard to pick actually because the stage pops out and this guy pops back in. So I'm back to having that out. And where is my 80s colors? There you are. Disco Inferno, look at that. Oh, they're all terrible. Okay, great. I'm gonna pop you back in there, my friend. And this one here has been grouped. Now remember, instead of um, ungrouping it, what we can do is double click it. Everything else kind of grays out and I can't touch it. Okay, and I'm inside this group. So I'm gonna click on this part and I'm gonna go, Where's this guy? And I'm gonna pick that. And this color, I'm gonna pick. Wow, this is tragic. None of them are good. Okay, so I've picked 80s. You can do searches for in here. So let's go back to explore. And I'm gonna do search. There's things like cafe, and you can kind of get cafe style colors. Uh, you can put bank and you get oh, random stuff. You see they've got kind of coffee colors in here. Um, there's lots of ways of searching and uh, surprisingly how many kind of corporate colors are in here. So you're doing work for, I don't know, um, for Dell. Okay, and you will find often, I'm guessing here, you'll find their kind of brand colors ready to go specked up. Okay, so, um, lots of Dell stuff in there. Um, I'm from Auckland in New Zealand. Type in Auckland, it's surprising what kind of Auckland colors appear in here. So these are designers who have uploaded colors to share. You can see here's Auckland Cityscape, that's the Auckland Council colors. AT is Auckland Transport. There's some really good, useful colors in here that you might, loads and loads of Auckland. Bring a Toto, all sorts of stuff. Okay, so search, you search your company or business and you might find something works for you. But again, remember under all themes, the most popular or the most used. Okay, we'll give you some really fresh new colors to start working with. All right, so that's how to use your branded colors and also how to dive into Adobe Color with no you. Okay, I'm a dirty foreigner, so I have use in all my color. You'll see it in the file names there. All right, see you in the next video. All right, that's it for the free video. It was pretty good, right? What I really want you to do now is I want you to go and sign up for my full course. Uh, I'll put a link in the description if you're keen. I have loads of other good free stuff, so make sure you subscribe. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked it. And yeah, how did I, good YouTube people?